Hello and welcome to iSkipper.net. This is lesson 13 and that is knots. So what I'm going to do is show you just a couple of knots that uh, you'll find useful on your comp crew course. The first one we're going to look at is uh, using a, uh, a cleat, uh, how to secure a rope to a cleat. And what we do is what we call an 0800. So I've got my line here, it's coming from the boat. And then I just work around to do a full O. So there's me O. And then I do an eight. And then I do two more O's to do me O 800. And what, each time I do one of these numbers, I just pull it tight and that will secure the line there. The beauty of the 0800, even if this line's under load, I should be able to release this even when it's under tension. And I can keep it under control, I can just stop whenever I need that friction there. Okay, the next knot is a, uh, a figure of eight, which is uh, what we kind of call a, a stopper knot. And the, when we use these knots uh, for in the Genoa sheet, if that Genoa is really flapping hard, potentially this rope can pull through and uh, you'd have to go and find it in the sea somewhere. So what we do is a, a stopper knot in the end to stop it pulling through the pulley. And the way we do that is you can make someone's face so you don't like, you wrap the rope around the neck, then you poke them in their eye and you pull it and it should look like an eight. And what can happen is this rope should pull all the way through, but that knot will stop it running through and we've got a little bit at the ends just to grab back all of it and pull it back in. The next knot we're going to look at is what we call a clovich and this is a useful knot for attaching the fenders to the guardrail. The way we tie it is we go over the top and then the line crosses over to make almost like an X and then it comes round the other side and then back through this gap here and then I pull it tight from both ends and the good thing about the clovich is uh, I can slide it up and down quite easily uh, where I want it and if I need to shorten it or lengthen it it's, it's quite easy to do and sometimes if you've not got your fenders at the quite the right height that can be quite useful because you can do it fairly quickly. Okay the next knot we're going to look at is what we call the bowling and this is probably the single most useful knot uh, you'll, uh, you'll uh, tie and the way we tie it is we make a, a small loop in the rope and you note that the uh, the, the, the loose end is on top here and then with the loose end I put it through the loop and I'm not going to pull too much rope through because this is actually what's going to make my, my final loop and then my, the loose end goes round the working part of the rope so the working part of the rope is the, boat, the bit that's going to the boat so it goes around and then back into the hole the way it come out and then to pull it tight I've got them two there and that one and that will be my bowling. What I'm going to do next is just retie it, but I'll show you how to do it through a, a cleat. So I'm going to feed the line through the centre of the cleat. Again, making a small loop on the working end of the rope. And note again, I've got the loose end is on top here. So it comes through around the working rope and then back in and then pulling tight and uh, you know you've got a bowl in when you've got kind of this tongue of rope is around the working uh, part of the rope so that's a, a correct bowl in there. Uh, the good thing about the bowl in is it's going to make a loop that's not going to pull tight and once under load you can't untie it uh, which is uh, it's what you need in some situations but the good thing once you've tied a bowl in is once you've took the pressure off it it's quite easy to untie by just breaking the back here and then untying it. So the next knot we're going to look at is what we call a round turn and two half hitches. And this is quite often a knot we can use to secure to a cleat. So what I'm going to do is the round turn part of it is just as it sounds. And that's my full round turn and that's what's going to take the load of the boat. 
And then what I do is make a D shape and then pass it back through and make a D shape the same way and pass it back through. So I've got my round turn and then the two half hitches. And again, similar to the uh, 0800, the theory is that I should be able to untie this when under load and release it. So that is your round turn and two half hitches. So the next knot is a reef knot, and this is the knot we use once we're uh, once we've reefed, and we've got all the baggy sail underneath the mainsail and just above the boom, and it's just a way of uh, creating a loop in a rope that kind of holds that sail up and keeps it nice and neat. So we've got our line here, and we just kind of do an overhand knot. So we do one overhand knot one way, and then we do it the opposite way, like so. So the two ends from each end should be uh, kind of parallel and then that will pull tight and this is where our sail will be um, once, we're, uh, once we're reefed. Our next knot is what we call a rolling hitch and this is a way of tying a rope to a, uh, another uh, rope to take the load off it. So what's happened here, some eejit has not loaded the, uh, the winch correctly and we've got a load of riding turns and it's that tight that uh, we can't release it from here uh, and we can't release it from the other end so we need to take the pressure off it to, uh, to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use another piece of rope further up the line here and the way we tie it, almost like a clovich, it goes over and then over again Whoop. And almost like a half hitch comes through and then we pull it tight from both ends and the theory says that this should hold the rope tight this way but it would slide up the rope that way so what I can now do is take that to this little pulley here and then across to another available winch which is this one over here So what I'm going to do, I can grind on this nice and tight. And what it's done with my rolling hitch, as that's pulled tight, it's loosened off this rope that's uh, trapped. And what I can now do, is that now I've got slack, I'm going to be able to work through and loosen this off. Now I can load this correctly, hold that tight, ease off my rolling hitch, and then untie it, and all is well.